welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Here to do your love reading for October 2022. Um, so this is for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. If you're new, welcome. Please do smash that like and subscribe button. Um, everything you need to know is in the description box below this video. So if you want to get a personal reading or purchase any of my decks or become a part of my channel, um, purchasing a membership, everything is down there for you. All right, Virgo, so let's see what the drama is <laughs> for today going forward, October 2022, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As always, keep in mind that the messages may or may not resonate. They're different every day. Um, not every message is for you, so don't sweat it if it's a difficult one, but if it's nice, enjoy it and be happy, okay? Hi, everybody in the chat, and hello to all of our new mods. Um, <laughs> Melly and Steve and Persephone are added. Um, so yeah, they've been here for a while, but thank you so much, you guys, for being in the chat and being here and helping out. Um, everybody's kind of taking turns and cycles, a lot going on. Okay, enough of this. Let's get into this reading. Okay, what does Virgo need to know going forward for October 2022? Okay, two cards. Girl with snake heart with a key okay we got two people with two things here <laughs> girl with a snake and a heart with a key you know hmm. whenever I see the word with I always feel like it's detached you know rather than saying um, a girl and her snake a girl with a snake is kind of like she's just with the snake but she doesn't really have the snake the heart with a key is like, rather than saying heart and a key, it's a heart with a key. So I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm telling this, but I feel like detachment. I feel like there's detachment. I feel like something is not really what it seems. Um, and I'll get into this in just a minute. I just want to get one more. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, butterfly, changeling, hmm, you know, butterflies morph. So, yeah, this message is kind of Halloween, October spooky for me. Um, not personally, I mean, what's coming to me is that I feel that this, some of you, there is someone that you're connected to or someone who's like in your periphery uh, who is not what they seem, okay? They might come across with being like you may feel like now you might not have met them yet maybe this will come forward but there's this energy of like oh i've met the one we're gonna get together let me open my heart i'm welcoming love um which which is great however you've got a changeling here um this girl with the snake energy empath and a narcissist paradigm paradigm being charmed or used enabling and boundaries okay so this kind of feels to me Virgo like you need to be careful who you're opening your heart to now I know some of you are like we already know that and, and I'm happy for you and I hope that's the case and but others I feel like there is a person um, and there's a dance I'm just hearing like a dancing with the devil um, there is some type of relationship that's going to evolve to the next phase where it feels like you're finally able to heal your inner child. Um, there's growth. You've got somebody here who's like, comes across like, you know, I've got the key to your heart, that kind of thing. Um, does that mean that this person's like a Jeffrey Dahmer type? No, it does not. I know that that Netflix thing is streaming right now and like yeah. I don't know maybe you should watch it <laughs> just kind of like this feels like the energy okay it, not to that extreme but you need to be like when your radar goes up Virgo you need to pay attention to that and not second uh, not doubt yourself not second guess yourself when you're when your radar radar starts going off if it feels like something is off with someone, 
You may not know what it is, but you've got to trust that something is off. When something is off, that means something's not right. And your body can pick that up from people. Certain behaviors, no, you're not insane. No, you're not crazy. No, you're not damaged. You know, your body is talking to you. Listen to your body when it tells you something is off, something doesn't feel right. Something's a little jaded. Something's kind of like, you can't really put your finger on it, but it's there and it feels contrived. It feels kind of fake, but you know, okay? So I feel like that's a very specific message for October, okay? Now, for others, they're just telling me, I don't know, something along the lines of like somebody wearing a mask. Now, I know we're going into spooky season. People are wearing masks um, or Halloween or doing all that, whatever they're doing. Um, you know, okay, this is such a, my, the messages I get sometimes, I'm just like, I really don't know exactly who I'm channeling at times, but they're telling me, be careful of someone who is in like a Halloween mask. Like, I don't feel like you're going to be um, hurt or anything like that at all. I just feel like, I don't know if it's like a Halloween mask. You know those theater masks? The one where there's a mask of someone smiling and a one of someone frowning you gotta look out for that theater mask those theater masks I don't know exactly what that means that if it's connected to Halloween or someone who's you know um, not what they they seem too good to be true that's what I'm hearing okay so I just <laughs> I don't like giving messages like that and you know what I mean it's not that I don't like giving it because I know somebody needs to hear it but I just feel like to start off a reading like that is very like I don't know suspicious so I feel like if that resonates for you you just take that message and you just go forward okay we're gonna clear the energy here and have a brand new start okay um, because I'm telling my guides to shut the F up right now with those messages if you are feeling like something is off with someone take it that's all okay so let's try to switch things up here a little bit my goodness Okay, there's a reconciliation. Someone from your past, Virgo, is coming back into your life. This person has romantic feelings for you. Okay, and they're going to be calling you soon. Okay, interesting. Let's get into this. Okay, expect your phone to ring. Somebody's been send, setting intentions, to, you know, visualizing you and them being together. You know, they feel that I mean your feelings are real and worth exploring their feelings that's how they're feeling about this um, okay so let's just leave that there and see what other messages there are here maybe this is like a leftover from yesterday some of you might have actually said something to somebody late you know laid some groundwork about a relationship okay so Libra Aries showing up here. We have Gemini Virgo Scorpio. Okay. So bottom of the deck is wish coming true, the nine of cups. So there's something here. There's satisfaction and fulfillment. I feel like you're a wish come true for someone. I feel like there's someone here who wants to, um, like they're realizing in their dreams or they're seeing you in their dreams um, that you are like someone you're like their dream girl, dream guy, okay? Um, this person sees your success. They see that, um, well, they know that you have like all this confidence. You probably have more confidence than they do. Um, they enjoy or, or like your, your joyfulness, your cheerfulness, your happiness. You know, they, I just feel like this person views you as like the total package, like the full, a full, uh, the, the full prize. <laughs> the, the trophy <laughs> you know what I mean but it feels to me like um okay this person's just trying to manifest you into their bed mm -hmm, for a little loving waiting for the right time this okay so for some this person lives at a distance to you I feel like it's a real struggle that's a problem that's a really really big struggle 
okay, the chariot and the ten of wands. So this definitely has to, there might be like drive time might be 10 hours. Um, you guys might have like a really long distance between each other um, that you have to drive to see each other, go through a lot of tolls. It's a lot of money. Um, you may not have seen this person also in about 10 months. There might have been a separation for some of you. But I feel like what's going on here is this person, they're going through this phase right now where, yeah, I feel like this, wow, this person is trying to manifest you back into their life. Okay. Um, hmm. Now, you know, Virgo, I always say anybody who's trying to manifest like against another person's will, that's black magic. That's manipulation. I don't feel like that's what's happening. I feel like this person is just trying to think very positively to have you and they be together. You're in their dreams. Okay. They are, they've had a dream about you or have been dreaming about you. Okay. They are directing their will and praying and I don't, they might be like, I don't know, they're doing some kind of ritual of some sort to try to like, uh, it's almost like begging as well, begging the universe, maybe doing some magic tricks, but I don't feel like it's black magic. Do you know what I mean? It's like, man, I just, I just get this really strong sense. I look at these cards that this, this person like, oh, I hope you will answer the phone Virgo. Cause I feel like they really want to talk to you. What the, I mean, this is someone, okay, you might not know who this is. You might have met them in your past and never been with them or never dated them. This is someone, they know you though. And this person has romantic feelings and they always have. And I feel like they, now for some, you might know who it is. Like you might've had a relationship with them in the past and there's been a split, but this, you know, there's a phone call coming in. You may have already had a phone call with this person. Their intentions here are to, you know, connect again with you. Okay. Let's see. This person might be a, a smooth talker, be like really good communicator. They have like the gift of gab. Okay. Let's see. My cards are sticking. Somebody said, add powder to the cards and I haven't tried that yet but whoever said that I took note of that thank you so much for that um, piece of advice that little tip I'm gonna try that over the weekend okay let's see what's going on here this person wow they don't just have dreams of you at night like subconsciously they daydream about you like I see this person when they have like some spare time, they sit on their couch or they, they lay back on their couch and they're looking at their phone and either looking at old pictures of you or they're rereading texts, things you've said to them, if you've spoken to them, even if it was just a business connection and there was nothing else, they're looking for signs, trying to manifest signs that you are interested. Oh wow, look, six of cups right there, yeah. Um, trying to mess, manifest signs or something that that there's a, a some kind of sign that you, you they get a sense that you were interested in them and um, as much as they were in you okay whether that's true or not I'm not sure we'll take a look at you when we keep going here but yeah this this might be someone from your childhood someone from you met 20 30 years ago and you guys went your separate ways and now there's this coming back around energy and just so you know you guys on the ninth will be the full moon in Aries I'm going to do a full moon Aries reading um, on so that'll be on Sunday okay so you know Aries is the start of like new beginnings okay and um, Aries is like the pioneer this is like the go-getter energy so we're going to pick up on that on Sunday but I feel like um some of you might be getting a call from someone on October 9th from a, like a soulmate, a reconciliation or hearing from someone about getting together. There's the Hierophant, Taurus energy there. Okay. We also have Sagittarius, Cancer, uh, Scorpio. Let's see. Coming into a commitment with you or, or just like 
they believe like very strong beliefs that you are their soulmate that you are the person for them wow <laughs> how do you feel about that virgo how do you feel about this definitely a reunion energy i feel like this person's coming in with like really good intentions here okay i i i feel like that's important for you to know let me see let's look at you okay knight of pentacles hmm. six of swords and the knight of wands all right, Virgo, so um, I was talking about long distance, so I do feel like you will meet this person halfway. I feel like you want to meet this person halfway. So maybe because it's so far away, you guys will meet up, like, in the middle somewhere. Um, yeah, I see travel again. I see it on your side three times. Um, so maybe you'll do like a three hour drive and this person will do whatever's left. Um, I see travel on their side. So you two are definitely going to be meeting up halfway um, sometime or making plans in October to do that going forward. But I feel like, you know, even if you're not at a distance, like a long distance kind of thing, I do see like if this is somebody around the corner making plans to meet somebody somewhere, I feel like you're, you're, you know, you're going to get that offer, that call's going to come in. Um, this person's going to rush towards you and you're going to be like, hmm, hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm running a little late, but I'll be there. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely feel like this is a necessary thing for you to do. Um, now I'm not saying that you should, I feel like your energy is going to be like, I have to do this. Like for you, for some reason, I feel like this is something that you feel or you will feel in October. Like you have to take this trip. Okay. You have to do it. You're going to feel like if you don't do it, um, maybe this, it's been a long time. Um, and you might be like, I feel like you're going to be in betwixt and between because part of you doesn't want to rush into something, but you know that you have to. Okay, so I feel like your passion and your desire will be go, go, go. You really want to and you know you have to, but your feet are going to be kind of lagging behind a little bit, <laughs> you know, just a little. Um, let me see. All right, five of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you kind of have this energy also, like part of the reason why you want to do this, like you feel you must is because it's cold where you are, like your heart, like you feel you're struggling, you want to catch up with this person or connect with them or meet with them. I do feel like you have a very strong, or you will have a very strong physical passion for this person. So there might be like, you might be very um, feeling free spirited, very sexy, warm, shameless flirting, that whole energy, you know, like just going for it. Um, because that's where, I don't know if there's like a warmth or you want this warmth or this connection or to be, you know, maybe in between the sheets with this person. Let me see. The full Aquarius energy for some of you. Let's see. Yeah. It's just like taking a risk here. I feel like this is foolish of you. <laughs> Like with the fool, I feel like you might just be like, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot for doing this. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. But why do fools fall in love, right? So I kind of feel like you are, you're just going to do it. You're just going to be careless and, and be spontaneous, spontaneous and just throw your cares to the wind and say, I'm going, I'm going two of cups. Yeah. So this is like two people coming together, meeting of the minds, mutual understanding, attraction, engagement, you know, there's equality here, um, potential soulmate situation. Um, yeah, I mean, there's compatibility here between two people. And this is, this is to me is always like two people who are connecting and meeting, you know, meeting that soulmate energy. You know, some of you, like I said, you might not even know, um, or you might just be friends, but there's more to it here. And you know, that's cancer energy. Some of you, this is someone you've been connecting with. Um, if you already have someone and, you know, things are going well, 
this is basically just a reconfirming of this relationship. You know, reconciliation doesn't always mean that we are connecting. Again, reconciliation can just be like we are looking at things and making sure that we're still on a good path. Okay. Um, you know, like reconciling your books, you know. Um, so I kind of feel like in either scenario, there is this rush. To, it's like I, they just gave me like two people running towards each other in a field with their arms out. You know, the old, those old picture movie things where people are like, it's love, it's love. This is, it's a very beautiful reading, especially, especially the way it started out. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer was in the house here at the beginning of this reading. You also, you know, and I have not watched that Netflix series. I mean, I've watched so much Jeffrey Dahmer stuff. Like I could, I could write a book on it. I kind of just don't want to see the, the other scenes, you know, cause that's so scary, but I feel like, and I love that crime stuff, but I don't know something about it cause he was so normal. He seems so normal. And that is what's creepy. That's like creep factor 10,000, you know? And I think that's why some of that came out in the beginning of the reading, because I felt like some of you really need to pay attention. Like there are people out there who are normal as F. They come across like nothing wrong, but your body, your vibe is like, oh, hold up a minute. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You're coming across like this, but something's not right. And I, that's why I feel like you need to pay attention to that. Let's get into um, the signs of the Chinese signs of who you like between you and this person. Let's see what the energy is here. Who do we have showing up? Year of the goat. Okay, year of the tiger. Year of the ox. All right, we've got a horse. We've got a pig. A dragon. Oh, hello, dragon. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, we have goat again, snake, year of the snake, and the rooster. Okay, pretty amazing. All right, let me see. Oh, I'm gonna see. Yes, we're getting some love, more love messages here. All right, show Virgo. What other love messages Virgo needs to have? What other love messages does Virgo need to have? Messages of love. All right. Okay, finances. Yeah, it's typical of you, Virgo. Okay, done with the love reading. Tell me about my money. Um, <laughs> financial challenges could be connecting or affecting this connection. And a lot of that could have something to do for some with this, there being a distance, okay? That might make it difficult to connect with each other on the daily because money's involved in one way or another. Okay, even if this is a regular relationship where you're close to each other, doing the things you wanna be able to do, um, there might be some financial challenges at this time. And I think that's something that, maybe that's just a clarifier for you, okay? Um, if there's been a long distance, there may have been difficulty getting together because somebody might be broke and might not want to pay for ticket or doesn't have the money to pay for something to travel okay all right but it says it is safe to trust in this situation here this here is not about jeffrey Dahmer. So don't worry about it but it says it's safe for you to trust in this situation okay it's safe for you to safe for you to trust i can't talk today safe for you to trust that a particular situation where uh, you might think that somebody's not interested or they might think that you're not interested because great effort hasn't been made due to distance. No, it has to do with finances, but someone's obsessed, totally obsessed. This relationship, give it a second chance. This deserves a, a second chance. Someone is completely sex, uh, sexually obsessed. They are strictly sexually obsessed with you. Okay. Can, can it be enduring? I mean, <laughs> For as long as it lasts, I guess it's up to <laughs> it's up to you. But there's new love or recommitment to love is developing here. So again, you know, I mean, the message you take it has, however it resonates. Oh wow, a soulmate here. Yes, this is a soulmate connection, and the two of cups, Virgo, is the soulmate. Look, if you don't believe me, it says it right here, soulmate. Okay, so this is. 
definitely a soulmate connection here. This is something that is a very beautiful connection here between two people. There's no drama. I just feel like somebody has some very strong feelings for you and they're crazy physically attracted to you and they want to get their hands on you. And I think yesterday I said, somebody thinks you have a really great butt. And I feel like that's still ringing true here. The butt has a lot to do with it, Virgo. I don't care if you're male or female. Don't come at me with that. There's... <gasps> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> See, I, I intuit the messages and then the cards or other objects come out just to clarify what I'm telling you. It's not me reading the cards. Here's the starfish. That was the butt from yesterday. Do you remember me saying... If you watch my reading yesterday, I said, I held this up and I said, oh, wow, somebody thinks you have, have a nice booty, boo dangy, boo jangled, jangled, but whatever you want to call it, you're shaking it all around, little twerk bird. And somebody here really, really likes your butt. Now, listen, I know you guys are like, but Kelly, how are you intuiting a butt or someone's behind from a starfish? Okay, I'm going to tell you. And, and this, this is how I get my messages. <laughs> this is a little secret for you. When I looked at this starfish, the first thing that came to my mind was it looks like the butt of a cat. You know, when you're laying in your bed and your cat backs a starfish up into your face in the morning, right? That's what I was th think. That's the first thing that came to me. So I saw a kitty cat's butt. Maybe somebody's name is Kitty. I don't know. You have a... Um, you have a nice butt, Virgo. That's all I can tell you. Somebody likes your butt. I don't know what the F this is. What is this? Oh. Okay. I They're giving me initials. S, and they're saying G. S, G. Hmm. S, G. Oh, and they're also giving me... Okay. They're giving me those... Um, those S-shaped Italian cookies. I don't know if you guys know what those are. And didn't I say Italian restaurant the other day? I said it somewhere. In the short, I think. Um, S, um, oh, okay, yeah. They're giving the S-shape. They're like Anise Italian cookies. But I'm also getting um, the S sound, like, like a snake, okay. Maybe it's someone, it's for someone here who's the year of the snake. It must be a very strong message for you. And then we've got a honeybee. Huh, okay. Honey and a love, a love pendant. Oh my gosh. So somebody, okay. Somebody calls you or you call them honey. It's always, hey honey or hun. Honey, I love that. I don't know about you guys. I love when somebody calls me honey. I just think it's so beautiful. It's like so sweet. But yeah, honey. Somebody calls somebody honey. That's that's a very important message for someone. Because that's a huge defining, like, or they say honey love or something. Honey love. What's that song? Honey love. All right, let's see what you guys have here. All right. Signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, and Capricorn. Okay. So if you hear me doing repeating signs here, then it's definitely that person. Okay. Double Scorpio, double Sag. So somebody might be on the cusp of Sag and Scorpio, which would be like November 20th, November 21st. Okay. Or it's separate. It's someone who's got double Scorpio in their natal chart or, or double Sag. Okay, double Virgo. Sag again and Pisces. All right, let's see. Numbers for Virgo and then we're going to end the reading. Okay, 1974. Uh, 19, uh, somebody's 37. Okay, someone was born November 1960. And then we have uh, huh, 1995. Very specific, significant year for someone. We also have November 3rd. Um, 
picking up July 3rd as well. And, um, okay, they're giving me last four digits of a phone number, 4737. Okay, 4737. Okay, so let's see. We have August 25th, um, also August 20th, which would be Leo, but it's kind of on the cusp. Um, September 5th, somebody who's born in 99. September 11th, September 20th, um, August 28th. September 3rd, okay, and um, hmm. somebody 29, 29 years of age, just turned 29 or is 29 years of age, okay, oh, March 19th, all right, that's Cuspy, Pisces, Aries, um, okay, November 8th, um, 1992. All right. All right. Somebody's got, all right. They're giving me a highway 206. Um, somebody's born in 1978. And then somebody's name is Patrick. They're, I just got the name Patrick or Patricia or Patty. They just told me, okay. 1968. Also, um, September 7th. Um, somebody's turning 40 or just turned 40, um, September 5th, 1967, and we have a Libra here. Okay, there's a Libra visiting, and I'm dropping all these. All right, you guys, so I think that's good for now. I'm not going to get in too much more, but I think you get the gist. So watch out for that Jeffrey Dahmer stuff going on. If you watch that Netflix series, let me know how it is. Leave it in, like, in the chat if you're in the chat, if you saw it. Um, if not, um, yeah, <laughs> good luck. I'm not watching it at that. So, all right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. we will be Thursday for your weekend reading, and then I'll be back on Sunday, and we're going to do the Aries full moon reading, and we're going to go a little deep into the emotions there and see what it is that you need to go after, you need to pursue in your life um, during this full moon. Okay, um, actually, it might be a little bit late because by the time some of you get it, it will be the next day, but I think it might still be a full moon. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. All right, you guys, so thank you for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, love you. Bye.